believe that you will, and I promise you, you will see the progress. All right? So, y'all ready to get started? All right, y'all ready to get started? All right. Very good, very good. All right. Wonderful, Michelle. All right. Very good. So, um, let's get into the spider. All right. The first thing that we need to do, okay, the first thing that you need to do is put your first finger on the first fret of the high E string. Okay, so again, you had this uh, demonstrated to you uh, by the picture, right? Uh, it's my fingers over there. It's a picture that I took a while back, right? First finger, first fret, right? Now, I want you to play that. I want you to play that note. Okay, so here we are. Let me just move this maybe a touch that way. Okay. First finger, first fret. Now, if I am using a plectrum, okay, which I am now, and if you are using a plectrum, I want everybody who's using a plectrum to pick that note in the down direction on that string. Alright, so the high E string, down. Now, if you're using your fingers, I want you to use your thumb, right, for this first note, right? Any questions so far? Any questions so far? Alright, that's the first thing. Simple enough. One fret, one string, one note. That's it. Alright, then, alright, this second, alright, this second note that we need to play, we put our second finger on the second fret of the high E string. Second finger on the second fret of the high E string. And as you might guess, we will be playing this note as well. Alright, so I'm going to come back here, blow my image up. Right, so I go from the first fret, finger on the first fret, to the second finger on the second fret. All right, and this second note, if I'm using a plectrum, okay, I pick in the up direction. Okay, so if I'm using a plectrum, the first two notes are first finger, first fret, down pick. Second finger, second fret on the high E string, and an up pick. Okay? So you want to be able to go back and forth between those two. Now, if you're using your fingers, right, remember I said the first, okay, the first uh, note is played with our thumb, the P finger, all right? The second note is played with our I finger. Remember, P, I, M, and A. Okay, so P, I, first finger, first fret, high E string, second finger, second fret, high E string. Any questions so far? Any questions so far? Is this straightforward enough for everybody? Alright, I, I, am I leaving anybody behind here? Because if I am, I just want to make sure I'm bringing everybody along. Okay, so the next thing, okay, thank you, uh, Elena. All right, all right, Catherine, wonderful. All right, Carrie, if you are playing a left-handed guitar, all right, if you're playing a left-handed guitar, uh, you would be fretting with your right hand, okay, and picking with your left, but the same fingers still apply to you, okay? All right, so Aachen, yes, you too as well. If you're using your left hand, and if you are playing a left-handed guitar, again, that's very, very important, right? If you're playing a left-handed guitar, right, then your right hand is fretting, and you would be doing the same exact movements that I am, except with the opposite hand, all right? I hope that's clear, all right? And um, if you're still having trouble by the end of today's lesson putting it all together, make sure to email me, and then I'll, I'll work with you more uh, about that. The third note that we have to play is the third finger on the third fret of the high E string. 
Okay, third finger on the third fret of the high E string. Right? So, third finger on the third fret of the high E string. So we started with the first finger on the first fret. Down pick. Second finger, second fret. Up pick. Third finger, third fret. Down pick. Now, if I'm using my fingers, P, I, and then the third note, third finger on the third fret is played with the M finger. So we have P, I, M. Okay? Now, last but not least, right, we have the fourth finger on the fourth fret of the high E string. Okay? Fourth finger on the fourth fret of the high E E string. Okay? So this is the last note that we need to play. Alright? This is the last note that we need to play. Alright? Again, fourth finger, fourth fret of the high E string. So we start on the first fret with our first finger. If I'm using a plectrum, down, up, down, up. If I'm using my fingers, remember P, I, M, and A. Okay? P, I, M, and the fourth note with our pinky, right, with our fourth finger on the fourth fret, all right, is the A finger. So, P, I, M, A. Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to ask everybody a quick question. On what fret of the high E string do you press your first finger for the spider exercise? The first, second, third, or fourth? Remember, first finger on Debbie. Very good, very good. Okay, who else do I see out there? Uh, Christina, very good. Gary, Stephen, Fossey, Barry, Ashley, very good. Indeed, it is Elena, very good. All right, it is the first fret, okay? So, what we want to do with this is take, uh, first of all, is this clear uh, for everyone so far? Everybody kind of understands the logic behind this. First finger, first fret, second finger, second fret, third finger, third fret, fourth finger, fourth fret. And we want to be able to do this on every string. Okay, we want to be able to do this on every string. So, right, if I'm using a, my a plectrum, I start on the high E string, down, up, down, up, then I move to the B string, down, up, down, up, then on the G string, down, up, down, up, then on the D string, down, up, down, up. If you need to look at your fingers, that's okay. Down, up, down, up. And then on the low E string, up. Alright, so that is the spider demonstration. And again, if you're using your fingers, P, I, M, A, P, I, M, A. how you want to go about doing this exercise. Okay? So, let's try to do it all together. Are you all ready to do it together? Do you all want to try doing this together? All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, hold on a second. Here we are. Can everybody see me? <laughs> Elena says it's not so easy. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I will be pushing you today. I will be challenging you today. But I promise you that the things that we're doing today are things that you can always be doing later on, on your own time. And these are things that will tremendously help your guitar playing in a most efficient manner. Okay, so let's try to do this together. All right, you're going to see on the screen a one, two, three, four, and then you're going to see the circles appear 
on the note that you're supposed to play. Remember what we learned back in lesson one before I continue. This string here is the high E string, right? That's what we started doing uh, with this exercise. Then we move on to the B string, then the G string, D string, A string, and then the low E string, okay? So, y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? All right, here we are. All right, a one, two, ready, and first finger, first fret, three, fours, B string now, three, and four, to the G string. Ready, and... 
goal of this exercise is to start moving your fingers in unison and getting nice, clear tones. Okay, now, before I continue, alright, before we continue on with this, I, don't, I, I can't recall if I uh, mentioned this during lesson one. Alright, the proper uh, shape of your fingers in your fretting hand, okay, is this kind of claw kung fu shape, right? When we're fretting, our fingers should not be flat, all right? They need to be kind of curved, right? So this is very important, right? We want to have this sort of, all right, position, shape in our hand, right? Because that gives us the best off chance to hit the note, to, to press the fret correctly, right? So especially for this here, right? Now, again, you can look at your fingers if you need to, to do this, okay, look at your fretboard, now, whether you use a plectrum or a, or you're using your fingers, alright, if you're using your plectrum, put the plectrum down for this, alright, because this is something that we need to use our fingers, okay, now, second finger goes on the second fret of the B string, okay, First finger is on the first fret of the high E string. Okay? Now, what we want to do is play those notes together. And I'm playing them with my P finger and my I finger. Alright, I'm playing those two notes together. Alright, can everybody do that for me? Is everybody able to do that? Is everybody able to do that? All right, you should get, all right, that, that sound. All right, Debbie says, okay, that's great to hear. Elena says, why, <laughs> as in uh, the letter Y, so I presume you say yes. <laughs> all right, Karen says, yes, very good, all right. Um, so, here we are now. The second thing that I'd like you all to do, all right, is put your, switch your fingers and the frets that they were on, the strings that they were on. Now your first finger is on going to be the first fret of the B string, okay, and your second finger is on going to be on the second fret of the high E string. And we play that, okay. So here we are. Right, again, I'm playing it with my P finger and my I finger. Okay, kind of sounds weird. All right, it's not supposed to be the prettiest sounding thing. However, what you want to do is make sure that you still do get a nice, clear tone. Okay, so what you want to do with this exercise is go back and forth between the two positions. Go back and forth. Right? Again, between the two positions. Right? You go back and forth. Right? So, what does that look like? Okay? What does that look like? Again, I start here. Second finger, second fret of the uh, B string. First finger and first uh, fret of the high E string, right? I play that, and then I switch, okay? Uh, and then you switch, right? First finger on the first fret of the B string, second finger on the second fret of the high E string, and you play that. And then you go back, okay? Now, hopefully on the screen you can see Alright, hopefully on the screen you can see that my fingers are moving together. They are moving simultaneously. And that is what you want to get to. If you have to go one by one, for now that is okay. So, alright, first finger, first fret of the B, second finger on the second fret of the high E. Okay, that's good. Now then I change again. 
and if you have to go one by one, that's okay. For now, eventually your fingers are going to build up the muscle memory that they will be just going back and forth, moving together. Okay? So, what I would like everybody to do, okay, what I would like everybody to do is, let's try it, right? So, just four times, okay? And maybe a few more times after that, okay? <laughs> All right. I would say, oh, maybe one more time. No, one more time. Okay, right. so here we are. Okay, let us try to do this, all right, together. Let me get myself up here in the corner so you can still see me. Again, you're going to see a one, uh, a three, and a four count, and then uh, ready to play. So get your fingers in position already. Get your fingers in position. All right, and here we go. A three, four... And, and then, okay, and then switch, and then switch again, okay, let's try it again, ladies and gentlemen, let's try it again, here we are, a three, and a four, and a forth and back and forth 
So, before we you know, do this together, again, I want to make sure I demonstrate it all. So again, second and third fingers. Second finger starts out on the first fret of the high E. The third finger all right, starts on the second fret of the B string. I play that and then I switch. Second finger is now on the first fret of the B string. Third finger is on the third fret of the high E string. So again, we want to be able to go back and forth. Back and forth. Okay. So, let's try it. Let's try this now. Okay. A one, a three, a four... And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. All right, let's do it again. A one, two, a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. Okay, let's do it again. A three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four. Okay, and again four. One more time at that faster speed. Here we go. Three, four, and uh. All right. All right, so this is the stretching exercise. Okay. Uh, between the second and third finger. Lastly, we have the stretching exercise. Same strings, but now we have to use our fourth and third fingers. Our pinky finger, which is not strong at all. So this is, again, a really, really great way to build up the strength, to build up the coordination, and to build up the dexterity, and the synchronization as well that you need if you want to play the guitar. And again, you know, there's lots of different theories of what you should do first when you're learning how to play the guitar, but I honestly, honestly believe that just by doing the spider exercise, just by doing these stretching exercises, and, you know, focusing on that to lay down the foundation, everything else is going to come so, so, so much quicker. Okay, so, here we are. Fourth fingers now on the second fret of the B string. Third fingers on the first fret of the high E string. Okay. Then we have the fourth finger on the second fret of the high E string. And the third finger on the first fret of the B string. Okay. So, we need to go back and forth and back and forth with that as well. So this one I'm sure is going to be the most challenging for everybody. Okay, so again, it's because that uh, fourth finger is the least strongest, uh, the least strong, I should say, uh, to be grammatically correct, uh, finger that we have. So, second finger, I'm sorry, second fret is occupied by the fourth finger on the B string, third finger is on the first fret of the high E string. So... We do that, and then we switch. Third finger is now on the first fret of the B string. Fourth finger is on the second fret of the high E string. And we go back and forth and back and forth. All right, so let me make that smaller, and let us try to do this. All right, let's try to do this. Only a couple times, I'm not a... Uh, masochist here, I don't, I'm not trying to torture you all or anything, you know, again, this is uh, all probably very new to many of you, um, and can be quite challenging in the beginning, so, again, 
it's good to try this. It's good to like build up that strength, and um, you'll get there sooner than you think. All right. So here we go. A three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four. All right. Let's try it again. One, a three, a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. Okay, one more time for good measure. All right, here we go. Three, and a four, and a says that one was difficult. It is indeed probably the most difficult one out of all of them. Okay, uh, so again, give your fingers a rest. Give your fingers a rest. Why don't you answer me this question here? Where are we? How many pairs of our fretting fingers can do this stretching exercise? One, two, or three? All right. Uh, no, Gary. Uh, how many? Uh, so we did the first and second finger. We did the second and third finger, and we used the third and fourth finger. So uh, again, maybe I didn't word this question quite correctly, but it is indeed three. It is indeed three. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what you want to do the place where you want to get to when you're doing the stretching exercise, all right? This is only the beginning, only the first steps, right? Uh, we did it with in between the B and the high E strings. But when you're ready with any of the pairs of fingers to move to the next string, you move to the next string. So you do it from the G to the high E string, okay, where you go back and forth, back and forth. Then you move on and uh, do it from the D to the high E strings, right? Then you do it from the A to the high E string, and then, last but not least, the low E to the high E string. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you might be thinking that I am crazy for saying that this is possible, but just to show that it is possible, all right, it's the same principle now, I've been playing guitar for 20 some odd years, 25 some odd years, I mean, I've lost count, all right, and when my guitar teacher, my first guitar teacher had me do this, I thought he was, I thought he was just uh, crazy, <laughs> I was like, it's not possible, all right, it is not possible, okay, but it is, it is indeed, right, but you start off slow, just like with any sort of yoga, with any sort of stretching that you might do, okay? Any sort of uh, physical activity. You always start small, and then you get, you progress, and you can do more. You can run further. You can lift more. You can stretch further. Uh, you can read for longer, right? Whatever it is, right? You start small, and then it comes to here. Now, one final thing about the stretching exercises is you don't want to do the funky chicken. You don't want to be like, oh my God, or ah, and then just, you see how my elbow's kind of doing this funky chicken here? All right, save that for the dance floor. All right, save that for the dance floor, okay? All right, you want, whether you're down here, all right, doing this, look at my elbow, look at my arm. It's not moving, all right? It's moving very, very small, all right, a small funky chicken, but mostly the mo movement is coming from my fingers. All right, that's where you want the movement to be. Even if I'm up here, all right, it's mostly my fingers that is moving. All right, that are moving. All right, it's not my elbow that's doing this again. Funky chicken. We don't want want the funky chicken unless we're on the dance floor. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen. 
now is the time to try to play a few of these songs, okay? So we're going to start with Come As You Are from Nirvana, from the band Nirvana, then Smoke on the Water from Deep Purple, and Satisfaction from the Rolling Stones. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration here, and then we will try to do this as well. All right, so um, you're going to see a screen... Uh, you're going to see the count off, and then you're going to hopefully see me uh, doing this. And again, the circles indicate which note to play at which time. Okay, so again, we start on the low E string, right? We start with the open low E string. So here we go. A one, two, three. A one, a two, a three, 
Now, just to give your uh, brains and uh, fingers a little bit of a uh, uh, rest, just answer me this question. Which band wrote and performed the song Come As You Are? All right, so we have four bands out there right, on the screen. Stephen, very, very... All right, so we have four bands out there right, on the screen. Stephen, very, very good. Um, that's okay, that's okay, Debbie. Uh, it is indeed Nirvana. All right, so this song was written and performed by Nirvana. All right, so... Um, Let's move on to Smoke on the Water. All right, I'll put myself back up in the corner. Okay, I need to put myself a little bit smaller, though. Okay, but maybe a little wider. I don't need to make myself a little bit uh, any wider, though. So, Smoke on the Water, the demonstration. Here we go. A one, two, three, four...
and gentlemen. Let's do it. Let's do it uh, maybe one more time, if we will. A one, two, a ready, and... very, very tired, and that's good, 